Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, this is uh, John Elwood. Uh, who am I speaking with? I'm sorry. Sorry, no. My name is John Bracey. Uh, I'm calling you from uh, the New York Times European Union edition. Uh, I apologize uh, if I'm disturbing you. Not, not a problem. What can I help you with? Um, we are uh, making a reportage about really uh, strange uh, deaths that are happening uh, all across the European Union. Are you uh, familiar in any way with the symptom? Well, I know something about the European Union. Uh, it seems that uh, a lot of gypsies in the European Union are dying. Yes. Uh, we are looking. Uh, we are looking into an article, and as we understand, there are similar problems also in Australia. And uh, if it is possible that uh, if we can speak with you or with somebody uh, from your organization more competent than you, maybe perhaps um, about this uh, really particular uh, situation. I mean, uh, when gypsies are dying, uh, this is very bad. Okay. Well. I'm the president of the Australian Institute of Private Detectives. Uh, do you have? I'm, I'm, I'm the head honcho. Okay, may I may I ask you a direct question then? Of course you can. Okay, uh, in European Union, you, we we have now like in the past two days, uh, we had like 418 gypsies died uh, of no disease, of no uh, particular cause. You know, that would be related to any disease of any kind, uh, yeah. but of violence. And we are uh, looking into this example, uh, whether this is only related to the European Union or is this related uh, elsewhere. And I'm only asking uh, whether in uh, Australia do you have this problem? Uh, are gypsies dying? Not that I'm aware of. I, di I don't think we have any uh, any here in Australia, I would be very surprised. I haven't heard about it. Um, I don't think we have any here. Look, 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 I'm not aware of that. If we do have, I, I don't know. Um, and I un unfortunately, I've, unfortunately, I would have heard about it if we do have. Um, I don't know any gypsies, uh, uh, whether they were uh, Romanian or Romani or whatever it might be, I don't know of any here. Uh, I, I don't I, think we even have a problem here with those. I, I contacted my... We have, uh, we, we have Aboriginals, which I suppose in some respects might, uh, because they are very similar, I suppose, to uh, uh, to what you might call gypsies. They don't, they, they sort of wander all over the place. They don't have a specific home, and they just move, uh, you know, with seasons where the food is. And they live, basically live off the land, and they're out, uh, out... Well, they do live in the cities, of course, but... Um, they have a lot of uh, uh, lot of them out in the uh, out in the bush. Uh, the reason why I'm con I'm contacting you is uh, my editor in uh, New York uh, suggested that I contact Australia because we are looking into this uh, problem worldwide. Uh, gypsies, as it seems, uh, are getting killed all over the world, and nobody seems to pay too much attention uh, to the problem, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, I, I, I understand you. I understand you. Um, I, I'm trying to think how I can help you. See, I don't know of that problem over here. We don't have any gypsies over here. Uh, I said the only thing we might have that become close to a gypsy would be the aboriginals. And uh, we spend, the government here spends about eight to nine billion dollars a year on the aboriginals. Now they live out on uh, out in the bush, and uh, um, you know we, we have a lot of public servants in between taking all the money. Out uh, of the 418 uh, gypsies that were killed in Europe in the past two days, uh, 20 of them were Aborigines. Uh, yeah, well, see, well, uh, can you explain this? Uh, how can this happen? I mean, uh, 20 Aborigines. In, uh, from Australia, I understand, uh, in European Union, being killed in the last two days among the other uh, 200 uh, oh, look, I can understand. I can understand. I'm just, you see, I say, well, the, the only thing that we have nearest to, 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 to gypsies would be aboriginals. But, you know, they, uh, uh, 
uh, they live off the land. They live in areas where no human, no, no white person could ever live. They know how to live off the land. But, you know, unfortunately, we get them into towns and we get them alcohol and they're like the old West Indians. Uh, you know, they, there's fire water. They can't control themselves. And we're now trying to address that problem, particularly up in the Northern Territory. Uh, but we don't, we, 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 we don't have yes, any problems with, yes. with, 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 with killing the Aboriginals. That's, um, that's, that, that, that's not happening here. Uh, but uh, we, we don't... I, I look, I'm absolutely... If, I, if, there were, if there were gypsies here, I would know about them, and I don't know about them. Uh, can I ask you something? Uh, uh, sure. Uh, tell me, please, uh, tell me your name so that we can be more uh, informal, if you know okay. what I mean. Yeah, no, my, uh, my, name my name is, is Eric. John. Uh, my name is John. Your name my is, name is John. John, John Bracey, B-R-A-C-E-Y. Hey, uh, John, let, let's keep it informal. Uh, John, uh, uh, but... Uh, I don't know, how do you feel? You, you say this is uh, completely strange to me because you say, okay, yes, you do not have the problem with uh, the gypsies in Australia, naturally. Yep. We do, however, have a problem with gypsies in European Union, but also with the Aborigines. It's, uh, it's a little bit strange, don't you think? Uh, well, the, well uh, unfortunately, see, what happened, the, the Aboriginals were here before the white man arrived. Now, they never had any houses. The Aboriginals don't build houses. They have little humpies, and they go around, and they live to live in caves, and, and so on and so forth. But they move with the weather uh, where the food is. Now, um, uh, we have a very harsh country here, and uh, the Aboriginals, uh, they were they were quite highly intelligent, actually, in some respects. They used to burn the bush, because the only re and the reason for doing that was because that was the only way that a lot of the fauna uh, can, uh, uh, can, can actually reproduce. And uh, all the seeds can only reproduce uh, in, in a fire. So they come out and they grow more trees, which grows more food for the aboriginals. Uh, can I ask you uh, only one more thing, but this is uh, official. Uh, it will be on the statement for uh, the newspaper. Uh, are aborigines or uh, gypsies uh, such violent by nature? No, we, d we wouldn't have any of that over here. No, no, certainly not. Uh, how, how can you be so sure of this? Well, <laughs> if they were, we would know about it because it would be in the public arena. Yeah, but, you know, I'm only asking because here in European Union, I don't know, I, I do apologize, you know, because I do no, not want... No, that's okay, not a problem. I do not want to bother you with uh, questions that uh, you may not be familiar about uh, regarding the topics, you know, uh, but if you would live here in the European Union, you would know that uh, gypsies, oh, this is, this is... Uh, I will not say crucial, you know, but it's a big problem, you know, to the European Union as such, and, you know, and uh, now Aborigines uh, <laughs> coming this way, it's like, um, I mean, we're talking about many, many people killed, you know, it's like this, because uh, something like this has never happened in European Union uh, since the Second World War. Can you agree? I used, to, 